We've got a decision to make whether we stay at Cove Ramblers or not. Uh, we've been offered a new contract. Obviously, we came in halfway through the season. Uh, Ireland's uh, league runs over the summer. So we've got to decide whether we stay or go. Um, I'm not really feeling the club. The club's decent enough. We're going to probably finish mid-table. We only want mid-table next season. And I could probably do that with the squad because there's such a gap between the really good teams in the league and the really bad teams in the league. And we're in the middle, so it'd be easy enough to, to do. But I don't think I'm going to stay. I think we're going to use the first sort of four months of a journeyman save to get club one done. And then we'll try and get another one-star club. One that's maybe struggling in the relegation zone that maybe shouldn't be. Or one that's challenging for a title and the manager's been offered a better position. So I think that's the plan. So I'll delay it and then I'll think it over. And if, tell me what you think below in the comments. Hi everyone, it's Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming. And welcome back to the Rudy Gutendorf. Journeyman's Challenge, that save where we try to manage 55 clubs in a one year of football manager. And so far, all going reasonably well, much as expected. Cove Ramblers are not the best side in Ireland, but they're challenging for mid-table. We've had a mixed bag of results. If you just look at the schedule. We were last year for the Carrigaline United. So we played Dundalk, who are top of Irish division. They actually won the Premier League. We lost 3-1. The board were really outraged by this, but they're a very good side. Took us to Queen's Kane Leonard scoring, and you'll see a lot of Kane Leonard. And then Wexford, Danny Furlong. It was the Danny Furlong show. He scored for them, and then he scored us our own goal. Disappointing they're behind us in the league, but they're much a much this. And then Bray Wanderers absolutely destroyed us 4 0. It was 4 0 going on about 24 0. I was trying new tactics out and that tactic didn't work. And then we went to Dro Droda United and uh, we beat them 2 0. It was quite comfortable. They had Ian Turner and Kane Leonard. So we're playing Galloway today and Limerick. And then we'll finish up with a Longford game. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to say the way for a week. And we've agreed to the delay, that's good. Just want to have a wee look at the jobs just while we're here. Um, got a few of them, I don't think any of them are really one star jo eh, jobs. York, I know Jacob Tista's doing York, it's a very good series if you want to check that out. Um, just to have a wee look. Sweden, Aye. these jobs won't be available by the time the end of the season comes, uh, but Indonesian Division 2. Yeah, this is, these are interesting things. I don't know whether to just to leave at the end of the season and, and hope I pick up something interesting or whether I stay and just try and do mid-table. But I don't think we're going to progress here, to be honest. Right, so the game against Galway. We're going to go for Malloyd, Fleming, O'Rourdon, Sweeney Taylor, Turner, Hurley, Henry and Chidea, and then Coogan and Leonard. This was a tactic I used last year in Football Manager 19. Didn't have much success, but we won a game using it, so I'm just going to keep going with it. And hoping for the best. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a... Not a very exciting time in Ireland, to be honest. I'm, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't feel it. Uh, so my gut's telling me not to renew my contract and see out the end of the season and then go and find another job. Turner. It's Coogan with a goal. Is it Coogan? No, it's disallowed. Sweeney's celebrating, but the linesman has chalked it out. Oh, it's... he was offside, but I don't know if he was. Kevin Taylor, a yellow card, Lynch, oh he just completely leaves it <laughs> and runs away in the opposite direction, don't you love the football manager's match engine, 
Yes, yeah, sir. It's a little bit brighter, a little bit better in Football Manager 19, but it's it's not exactly the state forward we're all hoping for. So it's just demand more. I think that's reasonable. Call we are fourth, we are sixth, so there's not much between us. Apart from maybe twelve points. <laughs> and here we go, we're going again, Taylor to Henry. Barry, Avet, Jindia, oh, brutal tackle, that's a penalty, penalty all day, Ian Turner, the captain, I think he's the captain, is he? He's the main man anyway, and keeper doesn't even dive, and there he is, his third goal of the season, and the season's nearly over, so he's not prolific. Either that or we don't get many penalties. Bang. We're up to fifth position. Maybe I need to rethink this. If we, if we go on a tear at the end of the season, we could, we could be looking at the title next season. And that would do our reputation good. I just don't think there's money there for the... Chindia. Yeah, it was a... The tactic I was interested, I downloaded it, I can't remember where I downloaded it from, but it was, um, I, I changed a few things up. And Chindia again. But it didn't really work in Football Manager 19. Weathered to Deer. Second goal of the season. We've got this. Maybe maybe I've been too hasty to to write off the players. Christopher with the ball. And there's Barry. Gets one back. Wararu, Christopher, crosses it for Barry, bang, and the dirt is gone, there we go, keep top up, pleased, there we go, more to come, more to come, and then, of course, more to come, there we go, two people were happy about it, they just weren't listening to me. Rarden, Brutar, oh, two-footed, but he got away with it. Got the ball. Castello, Barry, oh, good tackle, but Barry again. Gusto, over the top, Barry's in space. Barry can't finish, Taylor takes it away. There's Christopher with free kick. And Malloyd, good save. Connor Barry's finding too much space, I see that. The assistant manager, thank you. And then Chidea, oh, cynical by Christopher. Got a nice greens going on here, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, there's... You know, I emailed them about getting some merchandise. They haven't got back to me how to how to get it, so I don't think I think the first video is going to be a fail on the merchandise front. <laughs> and if we go to Indonesia or Singapore or something next, then we're going to be really <laughs> really struggling to get some stuff. But I'm actually thinking I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't take the the job in. Oh, Singapore. Where are we? Oh, what a save by Lloyd. Let's make some subs, freshen it up. Oh, we've got a, a red player coming on. What's that all about? Right. And Greg Henry's coming off because you've been rubbish. 
So is David Hurley, to be honest. Let's keep it going. We'll save the last uh, uh, sub. Waru. There's Walsh with a throw in. Oh, Turner takes it away. He's running, running for his life. He's still going, but he's into dead end. He's going to get there. Good persistence. O'Connor to Leonard. And he's O'Leary. One, two, three, O'Leary. Three's not his uh, squad number. I'm going to change it this summer to three. Kogan. Hurley, all the way back to Riordan. And there we go, Coogan. And oh, close. Very close. And there's the Turner. He's been everywhere today. So he won. E and Turner. Right, there's Walsh taking it away. And I'm not quite sure what that was. Right, let's make a last sub. Oh, let's not make a last sub. Let's get the corner over and done with. All the way to Taylor. Oh, that cross was Taylor made for Leonard. Maybe that contract's going to get signed after all. Singapore can wait. Taylor. Crosses it in and Leonard with a header. Is it Keen? Keen Leonard, or is it Kane Leonard? I think it's Keen. Sounds like an Irish boy band name. Coogan's coming off for the big man, Brian Murphy's coming on. No. Young lad's coming on. There we go. We'll get him as much time as we can. We've got some good youngsters here, so, I'd, I'd, so it's easy for me to say, I don't wear it again, but he's offside. And this is, this is easy. You know, if we'd be played like this the whole time, we could have sneaked a playoff spot. There's Leonard again over the top. Bang! He's second of the game. It's 4 1. Right, we'll see how we do go in the last two games of the, of the season. Oof. Melody. Come on, four whistle. Job's done. Put him out of misery. Kandia, Sweeney, over the top to Leonard, and his pace is just making them look foolish. One of these guys that looks reasonably ordinary, but he's he's pretty good. Dressing room, that was really special, well done. Right, we'll be back for the, the next game. I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to sign a new deal, but I did, I signed a year's contract. Just uh, that last win really pleased me, so I just thought we could we could stay for another season and, and see if we can get a promotion place or a playoff place, and if we manage that, then we might be able to get a slightly better job. You never know. Right, so we're playing Limerick, and we are in eighth position. We can only finish fifth or sixth. And, yeah, I've signed a new contract just because I think the chances of us finishing here again would be pretty good and I could be probably doing with a boost in reputation if we could maybe get into the playoffs. Um, Singapore and Indonesia can wait. I was uh, quite tempted to try and get a job over there, but there was a reason I took the Cove Ramblers uh, gig and it was just because I thought it was a, a decent job close to home. So why would I go to Singapore? Right now, 
Um, and I received it isn't that long, so we'll be finished it quite quickly and we'll be on our way at the end of next season. So we've got Malloyd and Goals, Fleming, O'Rourdon, um, Sweeney, Taylor, Turner, Hurley, Lamb, Kendia, then Coogan and Leonard. I've called up all the young guys. Um, just got them in the squad because I want to be starting to shape the squad for next season. So let's go for it. As I say, there's a few numbers to give out. We'll have to trim the wage budget. Because if we're going to try and be here for next season, I don't want us getting into serious debt. Good run, let's go. So yeah, I don't know where you think we should go next, but... Yeah, I, I was going to delay it one more week to see what the result of this game was, but they wouldn't let me. And you know, at the end of the day, we can just leave if we really want to. But I don't know how it affects us if we keep moving jobs so too quickly. So if we stay a couple of years, then at least we're, we prove that we can stay a couple of years. We've done the job as required here. Leonard completely misses it. Just demand more. You know, and as I say, if we get sacked, we get sacked. It's a, it's both part of the fun. It's McSweeney to Leonard. His pace is frightening, but his finisher isn't. <laughs> Such a great performance that last game, just. He yeah, had no hesitation in signing the contract, but a lot of these players probably aren't going to be here next season because we're going to be trimming. Taylor, Jindia, we've got a decent goalkeeper, decent centre-backs. And Kane Leonard, we've got a striker that's got frightening pace. And then Jindia, we've got a, a creator. So we're we're pretty much sorted, to be honest. Fleming, and there's Jundia, dearly. Kelly's having a decent game. And goals for Limerick. And if I was witty, I'd tell you Limerick, but... And Leonard away. He can defend, he can do everything, Le eh, Leonard. Maybe... We'll see how Leonard develops because I'd quite like to avoid. I don't know what he's up to. Some of these players would be decent squad. Oh, that's brutal. Is that no? Not a free kick. I kept making me. And then to Malloyd. Some of these players might come with us to the next job. Depending on where we go, places like Singapore and stuff will we have like certain numbers of foreign players, so I wouldn't waste one on them, but Leonard nearly. There's a really good young striker, and I can't remember which one it is, but he is quite tasty looking. Not the guy I've been playing at the start of the season, but although he is good, could be the strike partnership for the future. But Coogan, and oh, nearly. We've had a lot of chances. Eight shots to their one. Um, we can still win this. Keep working. Right. Let's do it, guys. You can do it. Cove Rambors. Ramble. Russell with the ball. To Abbott. To Sullivan. This would just be unfortunate in Malloyd. He's, he's, a, he's a very good keeper, Malloyd. And Leonard, his pace takes him away. And oh, one on one with Kelly, and Kelly wins yet again. We've got a corner. Maybe that man, Turner, with it. Sweetie, oh, and close. Uh, 
I think the, the plan is to try and get a few loadies in and save some money in key positions and then try and, if I've got any money left, to try and bring in one really good signing. Jindia. Oh, and he just slots it in. Let's make sub now. Puts guys this uh, really good. Is it this Keith Lynch? Look at him. Wow. <laughs> just, just wow. Um, he needs some game time. So Kane Leonard isn't having a great game. Matthew Lamb's not having a great game. Greg Henry's going to come on. See the young Charlie Lyons, young lad. Shane Kelly is another striker. He's the young guy that I was playing at the beginning of the season. Well, the beginning of when I came in. And staying a Leonard, but Leonard got his position back. And just made Murphy completely obsolete. There's Lamb to Jindia. Look at this finish. And I have to point out, Jindia is one of my signings. Jindia. I don't think it's Chindi, I think it's Chindi. And there we go, Chindi just slots it in. And this counter attack tactic is quite good. That's a throw in, Neville to McMenemy, to McGinty over the top, but Fleming cuts it out. Taylor over the top and there's Lynch, he's got pace, he's got everything and he finishes his first goal and his first start for a 16 year old. Look at this. <laughs> this young lad's got everything, he could be the striker of it. Sends us to the Playoffs next season. I like this counter attack tactic. And that is it. Uh, team talk. Well done. Unless these guys are all going into a false sense of security and then they're going to end up losing all these games and drug, drug there. I've won as well. <laughs> so no matter how hard we try to get 5th position, we're not going to get it, I don't think, because we've got Longford next, and they're 2nd. But it's frustrating, if these guys had been playing this way, we could have got a playoff spot from coming in. Okay, so on that note, I'll see you for the last game against Longford. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because we're going to go to another 54 clubs, or nations. Bye-bye.